tutorial on Maya and today we're going to learn a little bit about uh, active rigid bodies and passive rigid bodies and as you can see here I have a scene set up let's take a look at what that looks like I'm gonna go ahead and just hit play what we're gonna do is create an object uh, in this case I just created a sphere and attached a uh, gravity field to that sphere and then uh, made these objects down here into a uh, passive rigid body and the sphere is an active rigid body so as you can see there that's kind of what we're working on and um, I'll show you how to do this fairly easily what I've done in this scene is just created a bunch of cubes and um, if we go to our home view here and basically I'll show you the method I just went to create polygon primitive did a cube and then basically just drag on the grid lift up a little bit and then um, while your um, cube is still active here, you can use your uh, duplicate uh, function, which is Command D. So you can just uh, go and, and do duplicate. Right now, you'll not see a duplicate because it's sitting on top of the object itself. So let's just grab our move tool and move that. And as you can see, it uh, duplicated that uh, fairly nicely. And then what I did um, to all of these uh, different cubes is just rotated them a little bit in in a random manner so uh, I have about 31 different cubes in this section and um, you'll notice that uh, they're all kind of in in different positions and they're providing a surface for this uh, sphere to react against as it falls so uh, that's essentially how it's done so Let's go to, um, I'm going to open up a different file here. Um, I have one that uh, I've set up here, which is the same. And um, let's open that up. As you can see, we have all of these objects in here now. And what you want to do, this concept is very simple. Uh, we're going to create, um, we're going to tell Maya that these cubes right here are uh, to basically act as resistance against this sphere. So it's called a, uh, this would be the passive uh, rigid body. So the easiest way to assign that uh, property to there, um, since I have all of these cubes, is I'm going to just sort of click down, highlight, select all of my cubes there, and come up into, make sure you're in your dynamics menu set, and come up in here to your soft rigid bodies, and we're going to create passive rigid bodies so if you go to that menu line click on that and you'll now see that you'll you'll all of those will be assigned a um, all of those are going to be assigned a uh, that property so if you look in the outliner here's all of my cubes listed I'm going to go ahead and click on there and as you can see cube one has the shape and a rigid body uh, rigid body node attached to it so that'll look normal and as you can see all the way down the line they all have that uh, rigid body attached to them so just be aware of that for the moment and now I'm just minimize the outliner let's look at our sphere what we're gonna do to this sphere now is we wanna select the uh, active rigid body option for the sphere so I'm gonna go ahead and click on create active rigid body and what that's done is it's basically told Maya that this um, is going to react with these down here. So if I play the animation, you'll notice that nothing happens. Well, that's because we haven't assigned any properties, uh, any fields to the sphere itself. So we basically just want to um, attach a gravity field to this sphere so that when it lands on, on these objects, it, it will do its thing. It'll bounce around. So that's pretty pretty easy what you want to do is you want to come up here into the fields option right here make sure that your sphere is selected and we're gonna attach gravity to that sphere so if I click on gravity you'll notice that we now have a gravity field and that here's our gravity field attributes in the outliner if you go into your outliner you'll see that we now have a sphere and that there's a gravity field that's acting on this scene. Um, so let's take a look and see what's happening with the uh, animation when we play it. I'm going to go ahead and move this over here at the beginning of the animation and I'm going to click click the play button and as you can see the ball 
kind of rolls down and interacts with those uh, various uh, cubes. So that's pretty cool. Uh, right now, it doesn't. Uh, it's it's the gravity field is not set maybe appropriately. So maybe we could give it a little bit more gravity. You can play around with these all you want. Um, let's uh, go back to the beginning here, and I'm going to bring up the um, the magnitude a little bit on on the gravity. Now I'm at uh, 57. So let's see what happens there. All right. So that seems to have a little bit better flow to it. Maybe we could bring that up just a little bit more. And remember, you're approaching 100% gravity as you as you move it up. So let's see if that works. All right. Great. So now let's take a look at this sphere. Um, you'll notice that it has a solver up here. You have a, a rigid body uh, solver attached. Um, that's normal and basically it has a mass of one right now. Um, what we're interested here is we're interested in, in these uh, at the moment. Um, basically these just provide some various um, friction and bounciness and dampening. We're going to play around with the bounciness for a second here. So let's rewind the animation and as you can see the bounciness is at 0.6. Let's just increase that bounce a little bit to like say a 0.7 and make sure you're at the beginning of the animation and let's click play. So now it has a slight bit more bounce and as you can see it finds its resting spot there. Now we'll come back up here and maybe increase that bounciness a little bit more. Let's get up there into the into the top. So now now it has even a little more bounce and it goes over the edge so let's try that out again. Uh, let's add a little bit more bounciness to it. We're at about 1.45. All right, so bouncing all around there. Okay, so that's the concept. Really, it's just a, a simple, uh, very simple uh, concept to understand um, that um, we're assigning a passive rigid body to these objects and an active uh, rigid body to this object. So. Uh, if we were to assign um, active rigid bodies to these objects, these are then going to be influenced by a reaction of colliding with this. But for right now, just um, it's just the concept of the passive uh, rigid body and the active rigid body. So there you go. Play around with that all you want. Uh, kind of master what's happening in there. You can always change the sizes of things and whatnot. But that's sort of how to make stuff collide in uh, Maya. So there you go. Hope you had fun with this one and uh, learned something. So go about it on your own means and experiment with that and uh, read a book and uh, have a great day. <laughs> All right. Thanks.